Hey guys, just popping in super quickly to thank the sponsor of today's vlog, Nordstrom. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video and I hope you guys enjoy. Hello you guys, welcome back to a new vlog on the channel. Let's get comfortable because I have some fun things I wanna talk about in today's vlog. I just made some breakfast and I made my second matcha of the day. Still on my matcha kick. Yeah, so today is a, I think, why am I looking around like there's a calendar on the wall? I was literally looking to like find out what day it is. Today is a Wednesday, it's the middle of the week. I had such a busy couple days. I feel like today is the first day I finally got to like kind of chill out and relax a little bit and get to vlog because I haven't vlogged in maybe a few days. So I just wanted to have one of those videos where I get to sit and talk. You guys know I love talking, I talk so much. Yeah, today's vlog is gonna be really fun. So I actually have some exciting news. It might not be exciting to you, but it's very exciting to me. So I'm turning 30 in like three months. I'm turning 30 on February 10th. I'm an Aquarius. And for the past year, I was just like so anxious about turning 30 and I got COVID this past summer, so I was thinking like, oh my God, I'm spending my last summer in my 20s, so sick. I just had all these like kind of scary thoughts in my head about turning 30, but as the date gets closer, I'm starting to convince myself that turning 30 is not gonna be bad. Your 30s are actually your new 20s, and I'm very excited to be in this point in my life where I feel like I have my ish together. I have a job that I love. I have people in my life that are supportive and that I love, so turning 30 won't be bad, but to compensate for the anxieties I was feeling about turning 30 this past year. I told myself I wanted to do something really fun for my 30th birthday. I knew I wanted to travel. I did not wanna be in cold, cold Maryland in February where it literally will most likely snow and be 20 degrees. That's not how I wanna spend my 30th birthday. I want it to be a birthday that I remember. I feel like that's such a turning point of an age because you're really going from like young adult and you know your 20s are a time when you make mistakes when you mess up when you have literally no idea what you're doing with your life and then i feel like your 30s is kind of when you start to figure it out maybe you don't you know i'm not saying it when you're in your 30s you should figure it out but maybe that's around the time when you start kind of realizing what you like what you don't like what you want to do and all that stuff so yeah i feel like 30 is such a big number so yeah i told myself i wanted to travel i wanted to go somewhere and do something fun something that's super memorable so we're finalizing a trip it's just gonna be me and anto and it's gonna be kind of like a little romantic little couples trip because we are going to an all-inclusive resort in antigua oh my god i've never been there before i really haven't been to the caribbean actually i've been to aruba a few years ago and I think that's really it in that like region. I don't think that Aruba is really in the Caribbean. I think it's kind of more like away from that. But yeah, I've never been to any of those islands. And we were debating Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, St. Lucia, St. John, all the saints. I looked at every single place and every single island. And the biggest thing that we were looking for was a place where we could have a lot of privacy. And so um, I wanted to go to an all-inclusive resort in Dominican Republic. When I showed onto the photos, he was like, this is gonna be so crowded. We're gonna have literally no privacy. And then I thought about it and I was like, you know what, that's right. We really wanted to have a private little bungalow or a little cabana or uh, what do you call it, like a beach villa to ourselves with a private plunge pool. So those are the biggest things that we were looking for. So we found a place in Antigua that we love. We haven't booked yet, but we like are this, 
this close away we just want to make sure we are absolutely set on it we want to make sure that we have like the right flights and all that and um you know to get like an inclusive package with flights and hotel um or resort so yeah that's the plan my 30th birthday we're going to antigua i'm going to be in the tropics i'm going to be enjoying the beautiful weather and this place is so beautiful it has like floating like uh, breakfast you can like be in like a plunge pool and the oh my god let me don't get me started on the ocean on the water in antigua it is the bluest most tur turquoise most clearest water so that's only in three months is it november december january february oh my god it's only three months away yes oh my god i'm so excited to vlog i'm going to document everything but also i'm going to try to relax so i'm not going to like vlog the whole entire time but we're going to probably stay for about five days so that's going to be a lot of good content so i also want to start planning my outfits for the trip because it takes me a long time to plan outfits i just want to make sure i look my absolute best on the trip and oh my god i love dressing up for like tropical vacation -y vibes i feel like aside from fall fashion that's my favorite type of outfits and fashion style and anytime i have to put like multiple outfits together for a vacation or for like any type of event that's a few days long i get really overwhelmed because there's just so many different styles out there there's so many different types of clothing different types of like colors and different articles and it gets overwhelming sometimes i just don't know where to start sometimes i don't know what kind of vibe i want to go for or what kind of look I want to go for. So it gets overwhelming. I'm a busy girl. I'm always working or doing something that takes up a lot of my time. So I don't always prioritize like putting together outfits and, and lookbooks. So something that has been a lifesaver and that is such a cool service is from one of my favorite department stores. I talk about them all the time and they are the sponsor of today's video. So thank you Nordstrom for sponsoring this video. I shop at Nordstrom all the time. It's literally my favorite department store and just like store in general i get everything from nordstrom did you guys know they have a styling service and it's free and it's for anyone you can get help from a stylist virtually and they can help you put together outfits for any occasion whether it's for a special occasion like a wedding or a birthday or you know for an event like a vacation but also it's just for like any day use like if you want to put together some work outfits if you want to put together outfits for going to school if you're in school literally any type of occasion casual or fancy occasion nordstrom has so many stylists that can help you put together a wardrobe that suits your needs your wants and your lifestyle so you can go on nordstrom's website and you can take the free style quiz they'll ask you a few questions about your preferences for different styles it's actually a really fun quiz to take because they like show different photos of outfits and you can choose the ones that you like and they will put together your kind of look and then after that they will suggest outfits for you and if you want to go further than that you can request a personalized put together wardrobe from one of Nordstrom's stylists you can explore so many different clothing and accessories looks and outfits and you can request personalized looks that are your style your look and all within your budget so some of the benefits like I said it's completely free and there's no pressure you don't have to buy anything you can just you know browse through it's kind of like window shopping and I think the best part is that someone else is doing like the work for you I would spend hours and hours trying to find like one single clothing article that I'm looking for that's within my budget and it would take me so long so I love how these stylists can do that work for you and find the piece that you're looking for I think you guys would have so much fun with this so I'm gonna link everything in my description that you need the style quiz and more info on Nordstrom styling services definitely go check out my description so I I took the quiz and I got 50% romantic I believe I can't remember at the top of my head so I discovered my style and then I also reached out to a stylist to request more looks and I talked about how I was going on my vacation and I wanted a kind of tropical but kind of like resort wear so I took the style quiz a few days ago and I got my results back and I got some outfits put together from the Nordstrom stylist based on my style quiz results so I looked through all that they recommended so many cute pieces that I think would be so perfect for vacation so I placed my order and selected some of the things that the stylist chose for me and I actually just got my package this morning get everything right in here so I'm going to do a little unboxing a little haul and I will also do a try on haul I'm really excited to show you guys the pieces I picked up I think they're gonna be so perfect for any type of tropical resort wear vacation look you're going for so I hope this gives you some some 
some inspiration. So let's see what my Nordstrom stylist picked out and let's see my style quiz results. I'm really excited for you guys to see this. I wanted like a really cute button up top to use as a cover up to put over bikinis or just for like a casual day wear, you know, if we're going to lunch or going to get drinks during the day, maybe like at the pool. Just wanted like a really cute, but kind of like still classy cover up. And I could wear this with like a skirt or shorts, maybe some white shorts. And it would be a really cute pool day outfit. I love the color of this dress and I really love the material. It really just reminds me of resort wear. Like it kind of is like a terry towel material almost. And I love the rib detailing. I just think it's so pretty. And this again would be a really cute day dress with some cute sandals and like a straw bag is how I picture myself wearing it or even as a nighttime outfit with heels. And the brand of this one is BDG Urban Outfitters. I got this one in a size large. And then this is also from the BDG line. I got this also in a size L. And then that white button up top. This is from the BP line and I got L. This cute little set, um, they didn't come together, but I bought them separately and I thought they would be really cute together. They are both from House of CB, which is a line I've always been a fan of. And so I got this corset tank top and I love the style of it. I just think this is so cute for tropical like beachy vibes because of like the khaki. Something about khaki really just says vacation to me. And I just think it's such a cute, cute top. I love the style of it. And I got this in a size, I think large. And these pants are pretty much the same color. Like I think they are a set, but I did buy them separately. And I know pants, you know, aren't really a vacation thing, but I love wearing pants on vacation. And I love these pants. I love the style of them. They are really stretchy on top, so I know they'll be really comfortable. That's also my big thing on vacation. I want to wear cute clothes, but I want to be so, so comfortable. I don't want to like just wear like stiff, you know, material clothing. And these are wide legged. So I thought this would be such a cute set to wear either during the day or at nighttime. I could wear like some white heels with it, a white little clutch bag, go to dinner with this outfit. I just love khaki for vacation. So I'm excited to try those on. Next, I picked up a dress because like I mentioned, I am big on wearing dresses on vacation. I want my legs to be free. I want things to be flowy. I want to feel very weightless with the clothing that I wear. And I just love the color and the design of it. This just seriously screams tropical to me. Kind of reminds me of like a safari. If I was going on a safari, I would totally wear this, but I feel like this would be cute in the tropical environment too. So this is from Free People. I've always been a fan of Free People. And this, I got in a size medium because um, it looked pretty big. So I would size down with this dress, but it's just like an overflowy maxi dress. They had some other prints and colors too but I love the print and the color of this one. Oh my God, it's so cute. I think standing like under some palm trees in this dress would be such a cute like photo. That's another thing with me. Whenever I buy clothes, I envision where I would be like and what I would be doing on vacation when I wear these outfits. So I made sure I like had a situation like whether it's a nighttime dinner or, you know, lunch by the pool. You know, I always made sure that I knew where I was gonna wear it. So we got another dress. This is from, I think one of my current favorite brands. I've been a fan of their bags and all of their clothes. And the brand is Stodd. And this dress I thought would be so perfect. I know black, you know, it's not really a very tropical color, but I'm gonna wear black anywhere I go, no matter what the weather is, no matter what the occasion is. But I thought this would be really cute for the beach because it is a halter neck dress. Here's an up close of the cutout. So I love the shape of the neckline and I love how it has a little cutout here. And I love the detailing on the ties. These little like medallion lookalikes. I thought that was really cute and um, tropical-y. So it is a long maxi dress. It has an opening in the back. So, you know, I won't be too hot, but I love the material. Their clothes are seriously such high quality, which is why I really am a fan of the brand. And it is so, so stretchy. It does have a zipper in the back. So yeah, this is just a very nice structured, but not too structured um, dress. And I really like how it has like, kind of like pad, not really padding, but like it has like that underwire here in the breast area. So, you know, I don't really wanna wear bras when I go on vacation. So I like how it has that support, but oh my God, I'm just so impressed with the material. And then the last thing that I picked up is this 
wrap skirt that I wanted to use as a cover up for my bathing suit. But honestly, you can wear this so many different ways. This is from the brand Norma Kamali. It's just a one size fits all scarf. And I'll show you guys how I plan to wear it. I just plan on wrapping it like simply around my skirt, like a wrap skirt. Material is really, really high quality. Yeah, that's all that I picked up. I will probably shop a little bit more um, as the date gets closer, but I'm just glad that I got a chance to get a head start now and start planning out my outfits and the stylists that helped me were such a huge help. Okay, I'm about to make dinner. I'm so excited for this dinner. I feel like I've been cooking a lot in my vlogs and I hope you guys enjoy that because I absolutely love cooking now. I cook almost every night now and me and Anto have been trying new recipes and just a bunch of new foods and something new that we started cooking quite often is turkey. I've been baking turkey thighs and wings. So I just picked up some turkey thighs. I'm gonna make that for dinner. And I'm going to make some potatoes and green beans on the side. We've had this dish like probably three times already, but we love it so much. So I'm gonna make it again. And I wanted to show you guys how I season it because it tastes so good. I am on to my next read. I go through these spurts where, is that even a word, spurts? I go through these like moments, I don't know, but I go through these like times where I read nonstop and I'm like reading book after book after, after book and that lasts about like a month and then after that I don't read for the next like five months. I also made a cup of tea and it's my calm and what is it called calm and content i've been drinking tea every single night now i just feel like it helps my muscles relax and i actually just worked out like two hours ago i did a late night workout around nine o'clock because i forgot to work out today so for the past i think this is my fourth week starting i've been working out five days a week and taking two days off so um the last two days i took off monday and sunday i took off from working out so I really wanted to work out today. So um, yeah, I'm just trying to relax now because sometimes when I work out late at night, I really don't like working out late at night because I get um, wide awake. So that's why tea helps to relax me. Okay, you guys, I'm getting ready to go to sleep now. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thanks again to Nordstrom for sponsoring this video. It was such a fun experience going into the store today and connecting with the stylist and getting outfits and all that ready for my vacation. Don't forget to check out Nordstrom's styling services. All of that info will be linked in my description. So go check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch y'all in my next one.